Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today is long overdue. I am doing a favorites video for the month of March and for April because I didn't do a March favorites video and I totally told you guys that I wanted to start doing favorites videos and I just spaced it. I am deciding to start doing two months in one instead of doing it every month. I'll be combining two months and doing one video, which is what we're doing today. I have quite a bit of products. A lot of it is skincare, and I'm going to try to breeze through it so this is not a like 25 to 30 minute long video. We don't want that. I'm just going to try to quickly talk about products without being too quick about it, I guess, if that makes sense, whatever. And I'm wearing my put-in choker because this is my favorites forever and ever and ever. I did get it from Hot Topic for those of you who will be asking. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. I am going to start with skincare first because that is predominantly what I have. I have a ton, a ton of it. So first skincare product I'm going to talk about from It Cosmetics. This is what it is. It is the Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And it is the bomb. So you just put it on your skin. Sorry, there's makeup in there. Gross. But you just put it on, like when you want to take your makeup off at night. I literally just put it all over. You can put it on your eyes, your lips. And I kind of let it sit. Like I rub it in. And I let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute. And then I rinse it off. And I usually follow that up with a cleanser as well. Just to make sure everything's off of my skin. And nothing's still in there. You know, when you like wipe your makeup off at night. And then you cleanse your face. And there's still like, you thought you got all the makeup off. But after you cleanse, you're like, oh my god. Gross. So my favorite cleansers right now, I've got two that I've been using. This one is from Josie Moran. This one is the Argon Cleansing Oil. So this one is really good if you have dry skin or if you feel like your skin is dry that day. This is a great one to use for that. Um, you put it on your skin dry and then you rub it in with a little bit of water and it will remove everything. You know, it'll, it'll cleanse like it's supposed to. If you have oily skin still, this would be beneficial because like I've mentioned before, you may have oil, you may think you have oily skin, but it might actually be like dehydrated and like trying to produce more oil because it needs that moisture. So maybe look into using some hydrating products. Another cleanser that I love, I only have a little one right now, but it's a great one is from Carez and it is the Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser. And this one is super great as well. I love this one. It smells so good. It's not like a strong smell, but for some reason I just love the scent of this one. And it's just a really nice creamy cleanser that doesn't dry out your skin. Some cleansers tend to do that, at least with my skin. My skin's so weird, it's combination. Sometimes it feels super dry, sometimes it feels really oily. So Some other products that I've been loving for skincare is from Shiseido. It's the Ibuki Quick Fix Mist, which smells bomb as well. And then from Ula Henriksen, it is the Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. So it's a moisturizer basically, but it has AHAs in it. So I like to use this one at night because basically it's lifting all the dead skin cells off of your face. It has kind of a minty scent to it, which I love. This one's really great if you feel like you have oily skin. Like I said, I suggest using this at night though. And then this one I like to use before I do moisturizer, like after I cleanse my skin, I'll just mist this all over my face and it just gives a really nice hydrating feel and I feel like it helps skincare go on a lot better. I could be wrong, that's my opinion, but love this mist. Two other skincare products I have are both from Lush. The first one is this Tea Tree Water. Um, it's a toner water. I like to mist this on my face after I cleanse as well. Um, I do this one in the mornings and at nights, just kind of whenever I feel like it's necessary. Tea tree oil helps with breakouts and with oily skin. I mainly use it because of the breakout scenario. I do break out a lot and lately I've been breaking out a ton. I've been doing so much makeup. I've given my skin a few time periods where I haven't done makeup on it, but honestly I've been doing makeup on my skin a lot for the past like month or two so I have been breaking out a little bit and this stuff helps a lot. Cleansing tea tree, astringent grapefruit, and a balancing juniper berry keep disasters at bay. Beneficial for anyone with oily skin. It even says that right there. The other Lush product I have is the cup of coffee and I am so 
obsessed with this. It is just ridiculous. It's a face and body mask. I like to use this in the shower. I put it on my face. I put it on my body, my arms, and it's kind of like an exfoliant. But oh my god. I mean, I've used a lot of it. It totally smells like coffee. So if you're a coffee lover like me, I'm obsessed with coffee. You will love this. It has agave syrup in it, coffee infusion, ground coffee, um, vanilla, roasted cocoa extract, seed oil, caffeine power, power, powder. <laughs> it's fun with me today. I can't talk. So going into makeup. I have three different liquid lipsticks that I want to talk about. They're the bomb. First things first from Wet n Wild, the cat suit, the liquid cat suit. These are only $5 at Walgreens or Walmart. I've seen them at Walmart as well. And they are so freaking amazing. Like, I, I am not going to lie. I don't like drugstore makeup. I am just not a fan. I have never really been a fan of drugstore makeup. And I so super apologize if that is what you like and what you're into. But I personally just don't like drugstore makeup. This one is called Rebel Rose and it is so beautiful. I swear it stays on all freaking day long. Like it has crazy lasting ability and it's only $5. And even the other day at Walgreens, if you have like a balanced rewards card with them, it's like $3.99 for these. The next liquid lipstick, which was my first time trying this color. I have a ton of LA Splash Cosmetics lipsticks. This one is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's in red velvet and it is such a beautiful red. I love reds. I love red lipstick. I love dark lipsticks. This is such a dark red. I freaking love it. If you watched my makeup tutorial on the Marilyn Monroe look, this is the color I used or if you saw pictures on my Instagram or my Facebook, this is the color that I used. These lipsticks are only like, I think they're like $14. I'm going to have to double check and I'll let you guys know in the description box exactly how much they are. But if you use my code Voodoo Barbie Doll on their website, you save 25% off the whole entire order. And I think the Angels and Sinners lipstick case with all the lipsticks and all the lip glosses that was $288 is now half off. And if you use my discount code, you get 25% off as well. So just putting that out there. I love I love LA Splash Cosmetics and not just because I'm an affiliate because their shit is bomb. The next liquid lipstick I want to talk about is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Pure Hollywood and it's the shade I have on my lips right now. It's so beautiful as well. Gosh, all these these are just like these two, the Wet n Wild and the Pure Hollywood one I've been wearing like so much lately. Honestly, it's really hard for me to find a nude that I really like because my I am so pale that sometimes it's hard for me to find a nude that I just genuinely love. I love to line it with MAC Cosmetics lip pencil, lip liner, and stone. That's what I have. That's the combination I have on my lips right now. And I think it's just super beautiful. I am going to talk about these bad boys, which are super dirty. They are not clean brushes. They're dirty. They're dirty brushes, but I'm going to show you them anyways. These are the Harry Potter wand brushes. Now, the original makers of these are Storybook Cosmetics, and I so wish I could have got them from Storybook Cosmetics, but unfortunately, they stopped making the actual Harry Potter wand brushes. They still make wand brushes, but they're not Harry Potter ones, and I wanted the Harry Potter one. I got these from MyMakeupBrushSet.com. I will link their website down below as well. They're super heavy. They feel like metal. And it's Harry, Hermione, Ron's, Voldemort, and Dumbledore's wand. Wands. I use them quite a bit. They are dirty. It's a product from MAC Cosmetics that a lot of beauty gurus and um, makeup artists were talking about. This, I, don't, I only got a sample of it. So this is the Paint Pot Eyeshadow Primer in a soft ochre and I got a sample of this and I have been using it so much a little bit goes a long way so it's been lasting me quite a while and I'm just super excited about it because I have been using the Urban Decay Primer Potion Eyeshadow Base 
for freaking ever, like years. That has been the one that like I have just been using forever and I was really nervous. I didn't want to buy this because I was nervous I wasn't going to like it since I had been using that Urban Decay one for so long. But I love it. I love the MAC paint pot. It is so beautiful. I know MAC is not uh, cruelty free so I'm sure a lot of you won't want to use this and which is completely understandable. If you don't want to use the MAC one then I do suggest the Urban Decay one because Urban Decay is cruelty free and that one is amazing but personally I have been loving that paint pot like amazing amazing a few other things since we're on the the sample boat here working at Sephora I always take samples home because some stuff is just a little out of my price range and if it's liquid base and I can make a sample out of it I'm gonna make a sample out of it instead of buying it so the two things that I have samples of today are the Farsali drops the rose gold serum and the Unicorn Essence. I love them both for different reasons. One, they both smell so good. The Rose Gold one has like a citrusy kind of scent to it, and the Unicorn Essence has kind of like a cotton candy scent to it. They are amazing. I'm almost out of my sample, but it has real flakes of gold in it. Now this one is good for like a skincare step at night if you're going to put it on your whole face. I don't suggest putting the rose gold one on your whole face because it does, at least for me, it has an oily kind of feel to it and I'm not down with the oil. This though I love to put on my lips and then I love to pair it with the Sugar Lip Polish from Fresh and scrub. I feel like it just gives that extra moisture when doing a scrub. Uh, I just love that and I love to put the rose gold one on my lids when I moisturize my whole face like way before I do my makeup and my eyeshadow. I put a little tiny bit on my lids because my eyelids are always super dry. That's like the most dry spot on my face. It's like my most problem area for dryness. So I like to put it on my lids before um, applying the paint pot from MAC and it just helps moisturize it a lot. Like I said though, you don't want to do too much, you just want to do a tiny bit. And as far as the Unicorn Essence goes, it does look like it has pieces of like mica in it, I think. I think it does, I think the ingredients said it did. But it's pink! And it's so cute! And I love to use this as a primer, um, or a moisturizer even. I use this one as a moisturizer, and then I kind of let it sit while I do my eyes. And then I put uh, my other normal primers on top of that after it's been on my skin for a little bit. The next one I want to talk about... It is the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer, and it looks like this. I am so obsessed with this concealer. Gosh, it is so hard for me to find a concealer that I like and that covers. I have some serious dark circles underneath my eyes. If you've seen pictures that I've posted with no makeup on, you probably know what I'm talking about. I get lots of questions about it. The NARS Soft Matte Concealer is a very thick consistency. I feel like it fills in my pores right around this area as well, and it fills in any wrinkles or like fine lines I have underneath my eyes. I know, please don't. If you look closely, you can see I get creasing really easily. Just like right here, because I've got some little lines. Like, no matter what, I can't prevent the creasing. Like, it just, it just happens. Like, next, I want to talk about my eyelashes. I have been super obsessed with the Huda Beauty lashes lately. Uh, the first pair I tried were the Scarlet Lashes. They're super dramatic and beautiful, and I absolutely love them. I still have them, and I got them probably like a month and a half ago. And I still have them. They're still in great condition. And these ones I have on right now are the Lana Lashes from Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty. They are really amazing as well. They are $20 lashes, so... Um, I know that can be a little bit out of people's price range, and for me that was even a little bit like, um, do I want to spin that? No, but they're beautiful lashes, and they last for a really long time, and I love them. I mean, they I like me some dramatic lashes, and these are super, super duper dramatic. I love them. These cream foundations from Cover FX I have been in love, obsessed with, so amazing. They are exactly that, they are a cream foundation. I use the color N0, I actually mix this with my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and it gives a super full coverage look. These cream foundations are very full coverage. For me, I prefer a cream, um, liquids sometimes don't sit well with my skin. They're, they give a beautiful finish. It's what I have on my skin right now mixed with a little tiny bit of the Hourglass Vanish Stick. Like, I mean like a few very light dots around the skin just to give her that extra full coverage because 
I'm a full coverage type of girl. That's just who I am. That's just what I do. Speaking of cover FX, they have this new illuminating setting spray, which I have been using since it came out in store. And I'm obsessed with it. I have been doing the tricks that Nikki Tutorials taught, and that is waving paper or something after, immediately after you spray setting spray, wave paper or something on it to air it and set it even more and it helps your makeup stay on longer and I 150% agree with that. This one has a little bit of mica in it so there is a bit of glitter in this setting spray. Nothing noticeable but it just gives you a really pretty glow. It doesn't, I have it on my skin right now like there's no like specks of glitter. And I've actually been loving it, like, because right now, for some reason, I'm just feeling, like, the all matte look. Like, I don't have any shimmer on my makeup today. I don't have shimmery highlight. I've been using white eyeshadow as highlight. Like, I have not been using shimmer. I don't have any shimmer on my lids. My eyebrow, I have no shimmer on right now. So, with a whole matte face, I've been loving this setting spray because it adds a little bit of glow to my face and doesn't make it look super flat. And that's it for my favorites, guys. I hope... To uh, try some of these products, and if there are any products that you've been considering, I hope that you totally try them out. All these products I have been using consistently for the past two months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that I didn't do one last month, but um, I've been just a little bit busy. I was doing my whole NYX Face Awards entry video, which if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below so you can go check it out. Please give it a like and a share if you don't mind because I'm trying to get into the next Face Awards this year. Who knows if that'll happen, but I'm, I'm trying, trying it out. Uh, thank you so much for watching as always, and until next time. Bye guys. I'm gonna get closer. Yeah, that's better. I swear I have a little. I have hairs. I have hairs everywhere. That's the only one. We're good. I don't know. I've given my skin some break. Some break. Dancing juniper. Juniper. <laughs> was the other day at least, so. Love to line it with MAC Cosmetics Limp. Limp. I just... They're so cute. They're so cute. I had to have the Harry Potter ones. I had to. Oh my god. I'm sorry. There's just hairs everywhere. I feel them. This is what my eyes look like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing noticeable. It just noticeable. Noticeable? Noticeable.